Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're doing a tutorial on how to do a knife throw in Adobe Premiere Elements 9. Let's get into it. First thing you need is two clips. One clip of your talent throwing a knife and then one clip of the talent getting hit by a knife. Other thing you're going to need is a PNG image of a knife. You can do a PNG image by watching my tutorial on how to make a PNG image in Adobe Photoshop Elements or you can make one on paint.net. So on the initial clip, I split the clip right where the subject's hand was going to be thrown so that I can put the image of the knife there. And then I split the clip again right where the subject's hand came to an end so that I can have a place to end the knife going across the screen. On the second clip, I just trimmed the front and the back end off. Now above the track of the talent throwing the knife, I put a PNG image of a knife onto the screen and I split the image at the same position where I split the track at the bottom. If you click on this clip and go to edit, and you're going to go to edit effects, you're going to go to motion, and you're going to toggle the animations on. On the first position, you want to scale to move the knife across the screen where you need it side to side or you use this one to go up and down. So I already have my position set, I'll leave it where it was. Then you'll want to step forward till you get to a position right before the end of the knife throw. And you'll want to click on add a keyframe. And when you click on it, you want to move it to a position where the knife is all the way across the screen. Basically making nothing but the edge of the knife show on the screen at that point. And you'll use this is the settings I used. As you can see, I went from 357 to a negative. 66.7 there you can see the edge of the knife right there going off the screen and of course I left the uh, this setting on the same because I want the knife to go straight across the screen then when you're done you just click done and now you have to do the second part of the knife and the second part of the knife what you want to do is you want to start it right on the edge of the screen. As you can see a little bit of the knife coming through right there. And then once again, you want to toggle your animations on for the motion effect. You want to add your first keyframe. Like I said, I have my data in here already, so I'm not going to mess with it. And you can see the knife coming on. And this is actually should be the same. like as the original clip because you want it to come through exactly on the same level as it did on the level where the knife was being thrown. And then once again, you're gonna move it to the end and you're gonna add another keyframe at the end and you're gonna position the knife right in a position before it goes into the, the subject. So you can see the whole knife still right there when the subject starts to feel the effect of the knife. And so then you'll see my final knife that I have on here. And this one, I actually used the motion effect, but I also used the crop effect. So what you'll want to do is if you go to effects and you'll go down to crop, you click on crop. 
and then apply and then you click on edit effect and you'll go ahead and click on the arrow for crop to bring up the settings and then you want to crop out the left on this one to make just a little bit of the knife show right when it hits the subject so it looks like it went into the subject And then what you'll need to do at this point, because the subject is moving, is you'll have to go step by step, moving through and adding the motion effect to keep the knife on your subject. So you go and you'll go each step and then you'll move the knife to where it needs to be with these settings. And you go to the next step and you'll move it again. So you'll keep doing that until the subject goes all the way against the wall. And the last two things I did was I added blood. So on the first set, all I did was I just did the motion and I just did the same thing I did with the knife. I just moved it in the position where it needs to be so that when the blood comes out, it comes out of that one position. And then I also stepped through using the buttons here to make sure that the blood coming out stayed right where the knife was and then I move it to the right position again step forward move it to the right positions again step forward keep doing that all the way through so that the blood keeps coming out of where the knife is last thing at the end I went ahead and add a little blood to the end and I just brought that onto the screen once again went to the motion and put it in to the position where I wanted it to be and just left it at a position where he wasn't moving so I didn't have to move the blood around. Just let it fall out. Now the knife, all I really did to make the knife was I took a picture of the knife on a solid background and I did the PNG image. You can also take a picture of the knife on a green cardboard or a green screen and then key it out. Uh, for the blood, I got the blood from uh, Digital Juice um, uh, Compositor's Toolkit. You can get that at uh, digitaljuice.com. And there you go. How to do a knife throw in Adobe Premiere Elements 9. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, boy.